to all my aspiring voiceover artists, here's the tip of the day. So when you think about doing voiceovers, don't feel this need to master all these voices, this range of multiple voices, a little kid, a monster, the guy who does the trailers for the movies, um, the guy who does the legal uh, for the television commercial where they, where they say this will cause extensive bleeding and this can cause swelling and most people uh, end up dying from using this. Uh, consult your doctor. You know, when you think about all these things that you want to do in the voiceover world, I want to make you aware of one problem you could run into. And that is when you audition for a certain voiceover role, they give you a description of what they're looking for. So it might be uh, a, a, younger, a younger person, somebody in their early 20s. It might be an older gentleman. It might be somebody who, who um, you know, they, 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 they look for different things. They describe a certain character. And... When you audition and you do your voice that fits that description, when you land the audition, it could be several weeks away from, from when you know if, if you got that, um, if you landed that audition or not, if you, made, if you made it to do the role. And when they say you got the part, you have to be able to recreate exactly what you did several weeks before. So if you're in the habit of doing a plethora of voices, different voices, but you cannot remember exactly the way you did it three or four weeks ago, you have a problem. So I would say, and it's been proven that it's better to find your range, what you do best, and audition for things that are within your range. And when you audition, do voices that you can remember. That's very key here. Do voices that you can remember because if you cannot remember the voice that you did on the audition and you listen to it and you just can't nail it and, and, and you're going to have a problem. What if you have to do that voice for a 30 minute show, um, if, you're, if you're the voice of a certain character on a cartoon show, and you're all over the place, you're, you're in your kitty voice sometimes, and then you're in your trailer voice sometimes, you just can't find it. That's a huge problem. You're not gonna be called back, okay? So keep, keep your range focused and, and work on perfecting what you have exactly who you are. And I've said this before, they're hiring you for you, for the raspiness in your voice that you have, for that little accent that you have in your voice, for that, uh, that smile effect that your voice brings forth. That's why they're hiring you. So do you and do it well and do a range of voices that you can remember. All right, don't forget to hit the subscribe button Click the bell so you get notified of when I post new videos and do me a favor and hit the like button as well.